Well, a suspected illegal dog breeder is in custody after a lengthy animal cruelty investigation. Henderson police arrested 59 year old Lisa Madrid. She now faces three dozen charges after several animals were found. And our Joe Moeller reports from Henderson tonight. It's a list of animal cruelty related charges Lisa Madrid is facing. One of those key charges is failing to obtain the correct license for a dog rescue. Animal rights activists we spoke with say this list does not come as a surprise. Back in August of last year, I did help her. Nicole, who has worked with rescues, asked to not be shown. She wanted to pull an animal off the euthanasia list uh, from the Animal Foundation. Nicole said she was trying to help this woman, Lisa Madrid, who claims to run a dog rescue. Nicole saved a dog for her from the Animal Foundation. It was her responsibility to go ahead and make sure that those animals were vetted. After that, she completely cut off all contact with me on both Facebook and through text messages. Nicole says she was forced to get the dog vet care, and she sensed the situation just wasn't right. I'm actually not surprised. Monday, a press release from the Henderson Police Department revealed Madrid is now facing 26 different charges. Some of those charges include failure to provide proper air, food, and shelter, having two many animals, failure to provide vet care, unlawful crating, and not having a license for a pet rescue called Little Buddy's Rescues. The release states that Madrid was alleged to be breeding dogs. The address associated was on Sitka Spruce Street in this East Henderson neighborhood. We knocked on her door Monday. A person answered. We asked for Lisa Madrid, but no one returned to the door. I was a little surprised, as everyone else was, because of the fact that it's a rescue that's involved. Anila Wildrich is from Animal Protection Affiliates. She takes these cases seriously. It's always unfortunate whenever we find a need to rescue animals from the rescuer because that impacts all the good rescues who operate with integrity. We also tried to get in contact with the public defender assigned to the case and did not hear back. Henderson police say the dogs that were rescued were placed on a legal hold until the conclusion of the case. They did not say where the dogs are now. Nicole says the list of charges is a concern. It is a lot of charges. It actually made me sick. Madrid is set to be back in court on September 8th. Reporting in Henderson, I'm Jim Muller.